All right. So that way, anybody who misses us or wants to go back and watch something later can do that. All right. So we are going to just start this little video and see if Samantha can figure out her microphone. All right. So that just kind of give you guys a little bit of a taste of what Norwex is all about. Um, Norwex has been around for 30 years. Um, for those of you who are new, um, it has been around for 30 years. We celebrate our 30th birthday in June. And the goal of Norwex is to help us to have a cleaner, safer, and better lives, to be able to reduce the toxic chemicals that are in our home and all the different ways that they interact with our bodies and also what we're releasing into the environment. Um, Norwex's goal to make a huge impact around the whole world by reducing harmful chemicals in our world. So as we go through, ask me anything. I am an open book for you guys. I'm super excited to get to share these things with you. I am so excited for Samantha. Um, Norwex has a fantastic program that you can earn products for free when you invite your friends to learn and help them to have safer homes. Um, so Samantha's goal is to earn some good old cash money that she can use to get any products that she wants for her home. Um, and I really hope that we can do that for her. And if you guys want to have that opportunity as well, I love to do these kind of parties all the time. They're lots of fun. And I would love to help you earn a lots of cash too. All right. So now, Samantha, you're muted. <laughs> so yeah, you're muted now. So now you're unmuted. But we still can't hear you. It's okay. Do you see how to use the chat? Do you see how to use the chat? Like you can totally use the chat. We can pull that up so I can see it. Um, you can also, if you've got your phone around, you can dial in on your phone and then we can hear you through your phone. You can you can just dial in on your phone and then we can do that too. Because I know that she wanted to share some, some of her favorite things. So I know she wants to be able to talk. <laughs> so while we're giving her a chance to dial in, um, I want to get started with just a little bit of background, okay, on, so you saw in that movie, The Safe Haven 5 Set. So I definitely want to show you guys, those are our top five products to really change the way you clean your home and make it so much faster and easier. How I many of you guys are busy? Like we see the kids running around, right? It's like, who has time to clean? <laughs> and if I do have to clean, I want it to be fast. I don't want it to take all day long, right? That is, none of us want that in our lives. Um, I have five boys. My husband is a CPA. We have clients come into our house like tax season right now. I have strangers in my house all day long. And so my house has to stay clean all the time. Um, I have the fun job of the house where I get to come up here and hang out in my office and teach cool cleaning things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I also have to keep the downstairs perfectly clean. And I will tell you what, that between my dog and my kids running in and out of the house, when I get up in the morning, I get up in the morning, I spend an hour and I can clean the kitchen, the family room and the two offices and have it done in an hour, mopping the floor, sweeping, dusting everything. Like this morning, I even cleaned the blinds. I was feeling really accomplished this morning because I haven't dusted the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> but that is how easy Norwex makes it. So I'm really excited to show you guys these things. So the first thing that this is like the basic, right? The Enviro cloth. This is the everything cloth. You get it wet and literally clean everything with it. Now, there's three things that make Norwex super special, okay, that you're not going to find in other microfiber that's out on the market. 
The first thing is how fine the fibers are. Um, to be a microfiber, you have to be one sixth the diameter of a human hair. So one hair cut six times, that's pretty freaking small, right? Well, it's also the right density to like stick to your skin. Have you guys ever grabbed a microfiber cloth and you're like, oh, gross, it sticks to me, can't use it, can't take it out of my laundry, eh, yuck, no. I'm with you because my hands are always dry. And when stuff sticks to my skin, oh, yeah, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate it. Normix's microfiber is one two hundredth the diameter of a human hair. So it is super, super, super fine. And this cloth is really, really, really dense. So it's not going to stick to your skin, which is awesome. Um, but those super, super fine fibers, if you were actually to unravel this cloth, it would stretch all the way from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. That is how much fiber is in this cloth. Because it is so dense, it can actually literally get in between the fibers. Like you can have a stain on your shirt and you can use your Enviro cloth and rub it and it will pull the stain out because the fibers in this cloth are so small, they can get between the fibers of other cloths. It's really very cool. The second thing that makes this cloth so amazing is the way the fibers are woven. So your typical disinfecting wipes, your paper towels, your kitchen cloths, they're woven in the shape of a circle. Have you ever tried to grab anything with a circle? It doesn't work, right? You can hit it, you can smash it, but you literally can't grab it. Norwex is woven in the shape of a star, so it has fingers. So those millions of feet of fiber with all these little fingers are going to grab whatever you're trying to clean up and hold on to it, and they don't want to let it go until you take it over to your sink and wash it away, okay? The third thing that makes this cloth so special is what we call backlock. Backlock is micro silver. Um, if you're not familiar with micro silver, it has been a long time used in the healthcare industry. It's the goop they put on newborn babies' eyes. They use it on burn victims. They put it on their skin to keep them from getting bacterial infections. So it is embedded in the fibers of this cloth. So what that does for your cloth is you use your cloth during the day. You're going to clean it out. You're going to rinse it really good. And then you're going to hang it up to dry. Okay. As this cloth dries that micro silver goes to work disinfecting your cloth, literally ridding it of anything that would cause it to get stinky, smelly, and gross so that you can use it over and over and over again. Meaning that you don't have to go through 10 washcloths a day. How many of you guys go through two or three washcloths in your kitchen every day? Not anymore. <laughs> or more, yeah. And you're like, you have to have two drawers full of them because by the end of the week, you're like, I've got 30 washcloths that have to be washed. This cloth you can use over and over and over again because it's not going to get stinky. It's not going to harbor bacteria. It's not going to be gross. Okay. Um, so you just hang it up to dry. As it dries, that micro silver cleans the cloth. Literally kind of cleans it. So how cool is that? I heard that noise, Samantha. Was that you? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Mm -hmm. now. Yay. <laughs> you have won the Verizon commercial. We can hear you now. <laughs> I like Verizon. They're too expensive. <laughs> I was literally just texting her directions. I'm like, look for the more options. Do the audio. It could be in there. Okay, so let's see. And, and Jen got in. Jen got in. So that was good. Yep. Jen's in. Sorry. So I asked Jen. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry. I un I muted both of you, sweetie. Unmute your other one. I think she's, I think she's in like, audio wise on her cell phone, phone. and yeah, the camera on, on her phone. so unmute on your phone sorry it's down in the bottom corner okay yeah hit the unmute on your phone i'm sorry i didn't know which one oh, you were microphone about. the one on your phone it'll be down in the bottom corner right down here that's the screen, and then in the bottom left-hand corner, yep. it'll have, like, a tiny microphone. Little red microphone. I wish I could unmute you. Touch the screen. Okay, I just sent you a message to ask you to unmute. Unmute. I hit that okay. the left. There you go. There you go. Okay, now Are I'm going to mute your computer. Okay. okay. Now we should be good. Okay, we were getting back. The host is muted. <laughs> <laughs> your computer is <laughs> muted, but your phone is not. So we are good. Okay. So sorry, uh, you're fine. So I told you how cool this cloth is. Now I want to show you because I had a couple of people say in the survey that they used disinfecting wipes. So I want to show you the difference between disinfecting wipes and a Norwex cloth. Okay. So for, for one, I don't know how many of you guys have actually read the back of your disinfecting wipes. Is that upside down for you guys? I hold it up here. Um, on the back of this, it says, allow the surface to remain wet for two. 
That is a long time to clean. If you're going to use disinfecting wipes to clean your counter, you got to let it stay wet. So you got to use enough wipes to keep it wet for 10 minutes. Um, and then it says you have to rinse contact surfaces with clean potable water after disinfecting. So you've got to wash it again with water after you've used the wipes. And do not use to disinfect dishes, glassware, or utensils. And then it also says hazardous to humans and domesticated animals. It's literally toxic. Um, but, you know, it does serve its purpose. It will disinfect. It will kill viruses and bacteria. Um, no, I gotta go get my hair dyed. It's, it's dangerous, right? <laughs> you don't want to have to be using these things. So, but I do want to show you something. It's pretty cool. Let's get one that's... This is cool. I've yeah, seen this. Really good I'm always impressed. <laughs> All right, so... He goes away then. <laughs> here is a disinfectant wipe and oh okay here's my glow drum all right where is this at here okay, there we go all right i'm gonna turn off my lights here for you turn off, turn off. bye <laughs> all right okay can you guys see it glowing there Ooh. yes my light my light don't die on me light <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so when you use your disinfecting wipe, as you can see I am wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping, but it is not picking up. It is still glowing. Okay, so this is glow germ. This is what they use when they're teaching kids how to um, wash their hands and what's left over, right? You can see that it's gone through my hands. My hands are glowing and it is all over the surface here. Now I'm gonna take my Enviro cloth. This is just wet with water. Let me see where I swiped. All the germs are gone. Now, what if I took my, my wipe here and I cleaned a second surface? Can you see that it's actually putting it back on the surface? All of those germs are coming back that I just cleaned up. Or I can just wipe it with my Enviro cloth. You can see that it's in my Enviro cloth, but it is not leaving it behind. It's picking it up and it's not gonna leave it behind. But our disinfecting wipes are gonna keep on putting it back on all the different surfaces that we use it on. That is so cool. Isn't that crazy? It just is crazy. I'm gonna throw that over there somewhere. Now it's- Hi, what, is that Rylan? Glow germ everywhere. All right. Now, Samantha wanted me to show you the, a chicken demo, okay? This is a very cool thing <laughs> because <laughs> Norwex has proven to remove 99% of bacteria with just water. Okay. So these are bacteria. You're upside down, Jen. Just okay. so you know. And then this is a protein. Can you see that teeny tiny little dot right there compared to this great big bacteria? So we're guaranteed we're going to remove 99% of bacteria, but we're going to test it against protein. So I have got here one of our amazing rice husk cutting boards. I love these things because one, it looks beautiful. Two, it's got this cool band on the bottom, so it doesn't go anywhere when I'm cutting things. I have significantly cut down on how many times I cut my fingers when I'm cutting potatoes now. My husband is thrilled. <laughs> I'm like the queen of having to go to the hospital for trying to cut off my fingers. I've been successful, actually. I cut off my thumb with a table saw, so I, I do know how to cut off my fingers well. Um, so I want to show you what this does. These are protein test swabs. Okay, I get these from a health inspection company. This is what a food inspector uses when they go into test restaurants for cleanliness. This is testing for proteins. So first I wanna show you how this works, show you that our cutting board is clean. Hopefully it's clean. I didn't wash it last night. All right, there we go. It is green, it is clean. Now I have got a piece of raw chicken here. I'm gonna slime that all over. Yeah, gross. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. That's the worst part of my job right there. Playing with raw chicken. Yeah. All right. Now, when I've got chicken on there, I'm going to show you what happens in the presence of proteins. You can actually see my tray turn purple. All right. When this comes in contact with proteins, you can see that this is turning purple. Okay. Because protein stands for purple. Now I'm going to take my Enviro cloth, which is just wet with water. I just used it to clean up all that glow germ. And wipe off. Okay. New test swab. This one's clean. 
That's all over really good. You can see that that one instantly turned green. We picked up all of that protein, all of that chicken gunk and nastiness with just water. Now, that is so awesome. <laughs> what if I kept on using my cloth? You already see that it didn't bring, it didn't leave my glow germ anywhere, right? But let's test the cloth out and see if it's going to leave my protein on my swab. That swab is still green. It's, it's holding on to everything. It really doesn't want to let it go. So even if you clean up something and then you keep on cleaning, maybe you didn't know that you cleaned up raw chicken juice, right? And you keep on wiping the counter. You don't have to worry. You're not spreading anything. Okay. Now I know somebody's going to say this is a trick swab, right? It won't even turn purple. Let's test it on the chicken and find out. Oh, he scared himself. Okay. No magic tricks here. Doing the real thing. Slimy chicken. Oh, there we go. Totally purple. So now I got two purple swabs. I'm actually so confident that this is clean. I'll wipe off that swab that I'm willing to do this. <laughs> That's so gross, Jen. I know. I know. I need to see the pukey face. Like, hey, gross, Jen, you lick the plate. So gross. Okay. And so That's my brave. Board, That's my too brave. Board, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it lives in my office. It literally only gets cleaned with my Enviro cloth. Like I don't take it downstairs and wash it in my dishwasher or anything. I wipe it with my Enviro cloth. I set it on the back of my table and I use it for the next demo the next night. Like I don't think I've cleaned it in a month other than just with my Enviro cloth. I'm still licking it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm crazy. I know it's crazy, but I know it's clean. So I'm not worried about it. It's like no big deal. So this beautiful cloth here has got eight different cleaning sides that you can use. They're all the size of your hand. So you can just keep on going all over the house, getting everything all nice and clean. Now I will admit I have toilet colored cloths and I have kitchen cloths because I'm not going to use my same cloth on my toilet and in my kitchen. No, oh, come on. That's just gross. But if you want to, yeah. you could. No, I'm not going to do that. No, no. <laughs> all right. So. Um, we actually had some questions about stoves and ovens. So now that you have seen how this cloth works, okay, I want you to think in your mind and go, what kind of things would I like to be able to clean and not have to use a spray? Not have to grab a whole bucket of stuff to be able to get something clean. Where could I have a cloth that I could get wet and I could easily wipe clean? Where do you guys think? What would be convenient? Let me think. Say, what was the question? I'm sorry. I'm... Where where would it be? Where would it make your life easier to be able to just grab a cloth and get it wet and clean? Everywhere. <laughs> By your sink. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Your sink. Yeah. My sink. Totally. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your sink. Mm -hmm. Your the kitchen counters. counters. The bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah. What about those places like, oh, shoot, monitors, you monitor the, what? the lights, maybe the remote control. Right. You don't want to be spraying stuff all over your remote control, right? They get nasty. They get well, except for the, the probiotic stuff. Oh, the probiotic <laughs> stuff is the bomb. That stuff is so cool. I love that stuff. So lots of places that you can use this cloth and just water to make your cleaning so much faster and easier. So you don't have to go find stuff. You don't have to dig under the sink. You don't have to pull everything out. You're like, Grab the cloth off the hook, get it wet, go clean the things. Okay. Hey, so, Jen, can I ask a question? Absolutely. What's your question? Okay. So, like, you know, I have my kitchen cloths, right? I love them. Okay. So, when I'm done using them, I always rinse them out with warm water, sort of like how we clean with the microfiber stuff in the warm water, and then you put it in the washer. You know what I mean? You use to do the soak or whatever. So, I kind of do, but I just do it with water. I just yep. rinse it out and then wring it out. Is that, that's good, right? That's what you're supposed yeah, to do, right? That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Off. Yep. I mean, you know, I'm talking about for things that you clean that you don't see on the cloth or, mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? You're just like wiping the counter, wiping water up off the counter, that kind of thing. But yep. I always rinse it and do this. Okay, I just wanted to double check yep. and make sure. So like when I'm cleaning, right? And I'll, I'll be cleaning uh -huh. and I'll clean the counters or something and I'll rinse my cloth, wring it out. I keep on cleaning. I rinse my cloth, I'll wring it out. I'll keep on cleaning. And, I'll do and that. then you hang it up to dry. <laughs> and I, well, I'll use my same cloth like for the day, right? All uh -huh. the places. Um, and then at night, you know, before I go to bed, I'll rinse it out really good and I hang it up to dry. 
Okay. Okay. So, okay. Like this it. cloth, this little guy right here, he's my demo mm -hmm. cloth. Um, and I have done three demos this week with that raw chicken in this cloth. And I get done and I take it out. I just rinse it and then I hang it on my hook and I let it dry. Um, okay. Last night, I forgot to hang it up. It stayed wadded up in a ball on my cable all night long. <laughs> but guess what? It happens. Do you see this pick up any bacteria in there? Yeah, no, yeah exactly. It's not. Okay, because that back lock's still working, even though it wasn't able to get dry. Now, as that cloth dries, you know, if it can like get all the way dry, you know that it's eradicated all of the bacteria that's in it. If it doesn't get all the way dry, there's a possibility there's still some bacteria in it, but that back lock's still working. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you just rinse it, rinse it, rub it, let it dry, keep on using it. Because I won't wash this. I wash, I'll go a whole week. I'll use the same cloth for a whole week before I wash it. Okay. Other than like rinsing it. So that's a great question, Samantha. That's perfect. Um, so ovens. Okay. So I want to show you one of the products that every mom needs to have. That like literally they should give it to you at the hospital when you have a baby. They can say, here you go. You're going to need this. I promise it will save your child's life when they draw all over your walls. So this is called the cleaning paste. This is one of my favorite things to use in my oven. So it's called a paste, but it is more like a chalk. Okay. Um, and it gets all of the crazy things. So I'm going to show you with as if the kids had drawn on the wall with their Sharpie or maybe with their crayons. Okay. Um, all you need to do is this is oh, coming off a little bit. My fingers are good and wet, but it's not going to come all off. Okay. But if you take your cleaning paste, you rub your wet and viral cloth in there, and then this is going to take off the crayon. It's going to take off the grime, the dirt, the Sharpie, all the things. But you can use this for your glass top stove. You can use it in your oven. You can use it to get rid of all of the grime on your outdoor furniture. The baseboards where they turn black because you hit them with a vacuum cleaner. Maybe you got kids' white shoes and they always have to be cleaned. Cleaning paste is like a lifesaver, I'm telling you. Um, but I like to pair it when I'm doing my oven or maybe I'm doing hard water in the bathroom. Um, I like to pair it with a spirit sponge. Okay, So this is a scratch-free sponge that is also made with silver. Okay, so it's not going to harbor bacteria. Your typical sponge can have 45 billion bacteria in it after just one use. Like, you don't want to be washing your dishes with that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you're a bacteria sponge. Um, this sponge is going to purify itself. So you get this guy wet, rub it in here. You can scrub that top of your mm. stove. It's not going to hurt it. You can scrub your windows, um, your glass shower doors. And you can use these two. It's not going to hurt any of your surfaces. Um, the only thing that this is told not to use mm -hmm. is on like brushed stainless steel. Um, and to be careful if you're using on natural stone. Um, if you have got like quartz, you know, quartz says don't use anything on it. The Enviro cloth is amazing to keep your quartz clean and you don't have to use any kind of chemical cleaners, anything. And it's going to be able to remove stains too. Um, off your natural clean. stone. So... Any questions on the stoves and the ovens? They're pretty easy. We have an oven and grill cleaner. Um, this that is the really awesome too because this is enzyme based. So I love it too. my boys I know, it's love so good. to cook frozen pizzas. They love to burn frozen pizza cheese on the bottom of my oven. And then I go to cook and I'm like, what have you done to my oven? Like the house is going to light on fire, right? It stinks. It smells like little. Terrible. Waiting for the, for the smoke alarm to go off, right? Oh, we, we have removed the smoke alarm from our kitchen. <laughs> like it's it's gone. It's totally gone because we have a, an alarm system company and they were having to call us like, because we can't shut it off because it's hooked to this alarm system company. And so it just goes and then every single one in the house is connected. So like the whole house, like the whole neighborhood can hear our house blare and the, the smoke alarm is going off. Uh, so we actually took it down. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's super sensitive too. Um, when I've got to clean my oven, I will take the oven and grill cleaner and I just a couple sprays on there and then I shut the door and I just let it sit. I give it like 10 minutes to just hang out. And these enzymes, they start to attack all of that nasty stuff that's burnt on crud and they coat it so that I can wipe it away. It makes it really, really easy. And guess what? You can breathe the whole time. Like I can spray it and I can leave my oven door open. 
it's totally fine. There is no harmful fumes. Um, I can, I spray this. I usually shut it because then I clean the glass top or the top of the stove and I clean my microwave. And then by then the enzymes have had enough time to clean my oven for me and I wipe out my oven. <laughs> like it's that easy. Um, so most of Norwex's extra cleaners, so these are like the extra for when water in a cloth is not enough, um, are enzyme based. And these enzymes can literally tackle all the crazy things and do it with ease. So another one of you guys had talked about laundry stains and we have got an enzyme based laundry stain remover um, that works the same way. Like literally you shake it up, you squirt it on the stain, kind of rub it in a little bit, let it sit for five minutes and throw it in the wash. I have literally been blown away by the stains I have been able to take out of clothes. Grease from working on cars. My one son plays rugby and holy cow, I just... Like, do they just push them around like sleds in the grass sometimes? He came home yesterday. His pants were literally ripped at the crotch. Like one leg was totally ripped off his pants and the other leg was black. I'm like, what did they do to you? <laughs> like, I'm not paying for this sport. <laughs> um, but I just, just for kicks, I washed the one leg that was left. I sprayed it with the stain remover just to see if I could get it clean. And it totally came clean. Like wow. all of the black, all of the gunk, all of the grass totally came out. Um, just blows my mind, the stain remover. So if you've got little ones, like diaper blowouts, food stain, my husband stained his white sweatshirt with spaghetti sauce the other day, come out super easy. So the enzymes are really, really powerful. The enzymes are all natural. So they're not harmful to the environment. Um, even, I mean, even if you were to next to a river and some of it got into water, it would not harm the fish or the life or the natural biome of the water because it's all that. It's not anything that is going to be foreign. So I love the laundry stain remover. It literally is a bomb. Let's see. When we clean, how many of you guys got mirrors in your house? You got mirrors? You got windows? Do you like them to have spots? No. Do you like them to be shiny? Shiny. Shiny, right? We all love shiny things. I love shiny things. I want to show you the best friend to the Enviro cloth. So the Enviro cloth, this is your get me wet. I am your workhorse. I'm going to clean everything for you cloth, right? This is the wax on version. <laughs> the uh, window cloth is the use me dry. I'm going to polish everything and make it shine and beautiful. So you got wax on and wax off or Bert and Ernie or peanut butter and jelly, whatever you want to call them, they are best friends. Okay. So I've got a mirror here and I've got some butter because, you know, we all butter our mirrors. Not really, but we have dogs that put their nose prints on them and kids that put their hand prints on them, right? Yeah. Instead of having to grab the glass cleaner, and if you guys have ever used the glass cleaner, you spray it and it like your whole house smells like glass cleaner for hours, right? And then you use half a roll of paper towels to clean a sliding glass door. I used to think it was fun to see how many paper towels I could go through oh. cleaning the sliding glass door. And my kids did too. I was like, you guys can't use a whole roll of paper towel to clean one glass inside of my door. But they would. My grandchildren, my grandchildren came over the other night with Justine and I had just done the windows, the French doors. And, and she's going, don't touch the French door, don't, don't touch the windows. Honey just did them. Because <laughs> of course the dog's nose, nose print. Yep. Well. yep. <laughs> So when you got messes like this, you just grab your Enviro cloth, you get it wet, and you're going to let the Enviro cloth do the work. It's going to easily grab the grime and the dirt and all the things, right? And then you take the window cloth and you're just going to dry it. And this is going to give you a beautiful streak-free shine on your mirrors, your windows, your doors, all of, like it's so, it's so clean, it squeaks. Can you hear that? Squeaky clean. Check it out. Looks good. It's They're really cool for anything not a spot imagine how much easier that is right so much you your doors and everything clean mm -hmm. well, these two literally are best friends now i'm going to tell you a little little something we have a uh -oh. new set coming out tomorrow that's a spring set and it is adorable like super <laughs> super adorable <laughs> new stuff new stuff new, new stuff st comes out tomorrow so <laughs> I, we have a little conundrum for you. Here's my conundrum. Ooh. We have got mystery bags right now. And in one of the mystery bags, you can get the countercloth box set. And this guy replaces your paper towels. 
these cloths, all of Norwex's cloths are tested for 500 washes. So if you wash once a week, like we recommend, that's almost 10 years of life out of all of these cloths. So this little guy is designed to replace your paper towels. You'll pick up a quarter cup spill and you can wring it out and keep on using it, okay? It's gonna take six to eight paper towels to do that same spill. And this one can be washed and used over and over and over again for like 10 or more years, right? Um, so we have a mystery bag that has the counter cloth box set in it, plus a kitchen towel and a kitchen cloth, and it's 50%. It's $49. This thing usually by itself is like 56. Um, so you can get mystery bags, but the mystery bags end tomorrow at noon central time. And our mop system, this guy, which is the best mop ever in the whole wide world. And I can tell you why, because it cleans up dog pee off my garage floor <laughs> three times a week. <laughs> and it picks up doggy footprints off Samantha's floor every day. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I was so excited about that because I have this really shiny floor and it's a pain in the butt. I yeah. love it. And it does. It makes it so, so easy. And it's huge. So it cleans it fast. This is what I use every day. I go down and I actually use my Chanel one. So I have a, a Chanel yes, mop a pad that looks one. like this. So it grabs all the dog hair. And I can run through my kitchen and grab all the dog hair. And then if there's any spots that need to be mopped, I just rip this off, throw on my wet mop pad and mop away. Um, but this is 30% off as well tonight until tomorrow noon. Um, which is the lowest price I've ever seen it. This is only $90 for literally the last mop you'll ever buy in your life. And you don't have to buy refills. You don't have to buy chemicals for it. You don't have to buy the things to stick on the bottom. You don't need new pads because these pads are going to last forever too. And you can wash them. So, and the tallest person in your house and the shortest person in your house can use the mop and they don't hurt their back because you can adjust the mop to where you want it to be. And it has mop shins, has lots of options. So the mop is 30% off tonight and you can get the mystery bags that have fun stuff in them at half off tonight. And we have a 50% off sale that is going on tonight. And if you spend $99 or more, I'm giving free shipping tonight, but all the new products start tomorrow. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, there's your those new products are. so you could technically order tonight and get free shipping. Because you wouldn't be, and then if you order it again tomorrow to get new products, you wouldn't be paying shipping twice. So there is that. So, but if you want the mop, I highly recommend ordering that while it's on sale. Is this thirty percent off? And I've never seen it for only ninety dollars. Not in all the years that I have been involved in Norwex. Last time they had it on sale, they had it for ninety nine ninety nine. That's the best price I'd ever seen it. So it's ninety right now, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's see. We had also a question about cracked skin, wrinkles. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys some of the skincare because Norix wants to remove the toxic chemicals everywhere in our lives. Um, the average woman will put um, 63 different toxic chemicals on your skin every single day in the name of beauty, right? With the cleansers and the stuff that we put on to moisturize. Um, Norwex has an amazing skincare line that is 100% plant based, um, bio based. The bottles, these are called Forever Bottles and they're refillable. You buy them once and then you just buy the refill. The refills come with a $10 discount. And if you put them on auto ship, you get an additional 10% off the refill. Really cool. I don't think it's $10. I think it's 10%, isn't it? It's on $10. Auto? And then if it's on auto ship, it's an additional 10%. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So stop. you can like double dip if you put it on the auto ship. Um, so the skin cream has got, we have got the whole line. You have a serum. Serum is always what goes on first because it's the lightest, right? And it goes in and it makes it on first. your skin. Okay. Right down the store. order now. I'm telling you the order. So you know. <laughs> serum goes first. Yeah, well, I, I watched Bingo the other night just to watch Bingo. And when you were doing it, I was like, oh, my God, I've been putting it on wrong this whole time. <laughs> yep, the serum is first. The serum preps your skin to absorb everything else that you put on it. So it goes on first. It mm -hmm. absorbs super, super fast. It's high, 
Mm, high targeted hydration. It helps to tighten your skin, reduce the fine lines and wrinkles, brighten your skin tone. And then after you put on your serum, you're going to treat your eyes. That very sensitive. <laughs> so I want you to see how much I'm using. That is it. That is half a squirt, half a squirt. And this is actually safe to use not only here, but actually all the way across your eyes, all the way up to your eyebrow. So if you use an eye cream, I want you to look at it and see if it says keep away from the eye area. Most eye creams say keep away from the eye area. Okay. This one does not. This one is actually <laughs> FDA approved to do your whole eye, which means you can moisturize your eyelid and tighten that skin that likes to sag, right? Saggy eyelids. We want them to be nice and worked up so that we can have bright, shiny eyes. Um, so after you use your renewing eye cream, which is like literally my favorite one, I, I literally do like stick it in all the wrinkly spots. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> because it's just so moisturizing. <laughs> I even had some extra somehow. I got extra out and um, I put it on my elbow. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. I rub it on my hands. I put it on my elbows. It's the best and it lasts all day. Um and then you top it all off with the moisturizing cream. So the moisturizing cream, all I use is one pump. So I've been using this bottle both day and night since last August. Um, so it's getting close to being done, but this is called an every last drop bottle. It actually is an air free pump and it sucks it all up. So you can see exactly how much you have left and you're gonna get every last drop out of this. So you can do two things with this. You can just put this on straight or you can mix it with our illuminating oil. So your illuminating oil is always going to be your last um, thing that you're going to put on. What about sunscreen, Jen, when you're using that? If you use the sunscreen, so I don't put on sunscreen at nighttime, but I'll show you anyway. Um, you still put the illuminating oil on first. Make sure. So you put that oil on. It is going to seal in. It's got 15 plant-based botanical oils. Um that are all just so good for your skin. You see, I had one pump and I put in two drops of oil and I can go all the way down my neck. You even have leftovers. The oil is great to put on your cuticles. I've even been cuticles. using the moisturizer cream too now since oh, I've yeah. been putting the oil on last. Remember I was telling you, I, the, just what for me when I first did it, it wasn't, uh -huh. it's not that I didn't like it. It just wasn't, a, but I thought it was because I was so used to using oil of Olay. You know what I mean? I think it was just being so... I wasn't ready to give it up. Yeah. And once I switched and did it in the right order. <laughs> You're like, wow, it works. Huh? Well, it wasn't that it didn't work. It just, I just always felt like I did. I always put it on last, put the cream on last. Right. Uh -huh. So, you know, and I've been, you know, and every now and then I would throw some on my elbows or, you know, cause I've got this bottle of moisturizer that I wasn't using, you know, but, um, but once I did it in hi, honey, <laughs> Yeah, my grandbaby. Yeah, he's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's so good. And um, now that I'm doing it in the right order, I can actually use the moisturizer, which is nice. Excellent. Excellent. Of course, I have three jars of oil of Olay right now, but <laughs> you can share it. Give it to your <laughs> All right. So I am going to show you guys the sunscreen. So most sunscreens are almost all of them are chemical based. They can actually absorb through the skin, actually all the way into the bloodstream. Um, there was so many sunscreens that were taken off the market last summer because they had a direct correlation with sunscreen use and cancer. A direct correlation. Um, Norwex has as a mineral sunscreen, um, the uh, atomic size of it is so big that it can't absorb through your skin. So it actually protects, it uh, makes a barrier across your skin that won't absorb, won't go into your bloodstream, won't pass through those uh, dermal layers um, and protects not only from UVA and UVB rays, but also from pollution and from blue light. So those lovely screens that we stare at all day long actually break down our skin and cause signs of aging. Um, and this sunscreen actually protects from that. So I wanna show you. So this is also a, every last drop, it like sucks it in like, you know, so you don't have to worry about like toothpaste in it. It's going to suck everything out of it. So I got my, my sunscreen. Now watch how easy this goes on. This goes on so easy and it's not, it doesn't make me look like an Indian war paint or anything. <laughs> so even after you put the oil, it's okay. Yep. Totally. Okay. And then you can put make makeup on top of it. 
So if you wear makeup, like I'll put this on and um, I got some of that Saint makeup. That stuff's awesome. If you haven't tried that, that's some cool makeup. I say that because I can wear it. I can't wear like normal makeup. Like I, I never wear makeup because I am allergic to all of it and I can wear that. It's really cool. <laughs> I feel all girly sometimes. I'm like, I don't know. Oh <laughs> my husband gets a kick out of it, but it's so like it just blends into your skin so well that my kids don't really notice. So they don't make fun of me. Because if I paint my nails or if I put on makeup or something, my kids totally make fun of me. They're like, Mom, what happened to your face? Mom, when are you gonna get that stuff off your nails? Like they totally make fun of me. They're boys. Yeah, girly. Girly. I don't wear makeup boys. unless I'm like going to a wedding. <laughs> I know it's like family pictures was the only day mom could wear makeup. <laughs> so um, dry cracked heels. I know we're coming up on that time of the year, right? Where we're going to be wearing the Showing off our feet. I got a new pair of sandals today. I'm really excited and I'm not going to be wearing socks with them because I'm totally a socks with my sandals person. Ones are not. I'm from Utah. That's what we do. <laughs> um, but when you get dry cracked skin, the body balm is absolutely amazing it's like chapstick for your skin so you can rub it on your elbows you can rub it on the bottom of your feet so my hands you guys can see can you can you see how alligator my hand is i don't know if you can see it but it, oh, yes. okay. they are so bad i don't know why they're so bad today they're terrible but when I, I, put, it, I gotta go let the dog out of word okay from, you're good your so i'll put this on before i go to bed right and it's heavy it's a balm okay so it's gonna go on i'm heavy. coming but then it goes, it absorbs in very quickly, but the moisture is going to last all night long. And in the morning, my hands will no longer look like alligators. So come on. And the body balm's back in stock now, <coughs> which is great. And then Samantha wanted me to share. I know we're getting, sorry, we're getting a little long. I'm long with it. I got to tell you so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Um, she wanted me to talk to you about the hair care. Okay. How many of you guys absolutely adore your shampoo? You think like my shampoo, my conditioner is the bomb.com and my hair is always healthy and beautiful, bright and shiny. Anybody like fall into that category? No, no, I nope. have a lot of hair. You have a lot of hair, beautiful yeah. hair. Um, so Norwex's hair care, let me grab it here. So the nourishing shampoo and conditioner, the most of the time, most of your shampoos and conditioners that you get from the store, if you look at your ingredients on the back, they have sulfates in them. Okay. Sulfates are anything that is like SLS, SMS, um, usually starts and ends with an S. It's a sulfate. Sulfate is a very cheap way to make your shampoo lather really nice. So you get that nice, foamy, feels so soft, right? Um, but sulfates are very damaging to your hair follicle. They're, they make your hair brittle and they are bad for you. Okay, so if you are using the shampoo that like you're getting all the lather and all the fun and you feel like your hair is flat and dry and brittle, it's because there's sulfates in your shampoos. So this does not have any sulfates. There's no phthalates in it. Um, this is Nordic antioxidants um, and, anti and botanicals. It just has a very light, pleasant smell, not a fragrance, just a natural smell to it. Um, you don't need very much. Okay, it's super concentrated. So I use about not quite a dime for my hair. Um, my husband like literally puts a little. Just rub it, rub it in, and that's all we use. Um, so it lasts a really long time because they're super concentrated. You don't need very much. Um, so my hair, I am the queen of ponytails. Like I get out of the shower and put it in a ponytail wet. Like that's like the worst thing you can do to your hair, right? It breaks. You always get those break lines right in the middle, and you go to get your hair cut, and they're like, man, you got all these split ends and all this bad stuff. Um, <laughs> And that used to be me. I actually cut it off so short that I can't put it in a ponytail right now. And it's like making me crazy. The lady just like totally chopped my hair off. Um, but once I switch to the Lucier shampoo and conditioner, every time I go get my hair cut, I get, wow, your hair is so 
healthy and it's so shiny mm -hmm. and what do you use when the hair care people are asking me what i'm using on my hair i'm feeling pretty dang good about that right mm -hmm. because it's totally different from when and we were using the salon stuff my dad has a friend who owns a salon and so every year at christmas time he would buy us a gallon sized of the super expensive salon shampoo and conditioner and that's what we would use for our hair and we thought we were getting top-notch stuff and taking really good care of our hair but every time i would go get my hair cut I would get told, man, we got to cut it a little shorter. You got split ends. Um, you know, you need to really doing something to treat your scalp. Your scalp's getting dry. And I have not had any of that in four years. All the time now, it's like, I love your hair. It's so healthy. And this time I actually got complimented on my platinum streaks. And she said, oh, did you have that done? And I said, yes, my kids are giving it to me for free. And she just laughed. <laughs> She's like... 20 she has no kids and i'm like oh no man you have five boys this you get this for free she's like yeah. oh all right good to like go. well, it's beautiful. <laughs> and i'm like thank you <laughs> it was pretty funny that was the first time they've ever like complimented me on my platinum highlights but she says yeah people pay good money for those i'm like yeah i get them for free <laughs> thank my kids later <laughs> all natural <laughs> it's all natural yeah i dyed my hair I've dyed my hair twice in my life. So this is my natural hair color. Um, and my sister, so my dad this is the funniest story. My dad that like dark, like Elvis Presley, dark hair, right? Super dark hair. And he started to get platinum highlights in high school. Called salt, salt and pepper. Um, now he's just straight platinum. My sister started going platinum in junior high. And it's cause wow. she got my dad's dark hair too. I got light blonde hair. I was like totally the misfit. Everybody else has got brown hair or dark black hair and I got this blonde hair. Um, but I didn't start going platinum until my kids became teenagers. My twins became teenagers. My first one was fine. But when my twins became teenagers, I started getting the platinum highlights. So I blame it on them. <laughs> but they hide. They hide well in blonder hair, lighter hair. But I got darker. My, my hair got darker with all of my pregnancies. My hair got darker. Um, let's see. So... Um, I want to call her Caitlin. It's not Kate, Katie. Katie. Um, she posted today about her cats and they're peeing all over the place. I don't know if you guys all saw her post about, mm -hmm. she wants to be the cat mom of the year and adopt these cats, but the cats are like fighting for boundaries and they're like peeing all over her brand new house. Um, so I did want to bring up how to handle urine. Okay. Because <laughs> no one can handle urine. Easy. So we have got this Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. Okay, this laundry detergent is fantastic. And again, it has no fillers, no dyes, no sulfates, no anything bad for the environment, anything bad for you, anything bad for your pipes, your septic systems, anything. Like totally safe. You can use it in the river and it's perfectly fine. Um, so we have soft water and an HE machine and I use one teaspoon, teaspoon, a little one, um, for a large load. All of my laundry is large because I had to do laundry. But a teaspoon is all I need. But you can use this in your carpet cleaner. And I use one tablespoon per gallon in my carpet cleaner. And I use it with like not super hot water, but warm water. And it will clean and pull out urine smells. So when I'm going after urine, particularly, because my dog messes on my carpet too, um, I will put one tablespoon of the Ultra Power Plus and I will put in a quarter cup of vinegar. Okay. And then I will use my carpet cleaner. So water, Ultra Power Plus, and vinegar. You don't need to buy $30 pet urine stain smell stuff from a uh, grocery store, okay? That's all you need. Spray it, clean it, get it all cleaned up as good as you can, and then spray with the mattress. Okay, this is an enzyme-based product as well, and these enzymes will continue to feed until they run out of food, and they will feed on organic matter. So urine is an organic <clears throat> substance. So they will just continue to keep cleaning and keep cleaning until that's gone. Okay, so I clean out everything that I can with this, and then I spray it with the mattress cleaner, and it's going to get rid of the smell. And my dog, it, she'll even quit marking the same spot because she can't smell it anymore, so I know it's working. Um, but it's very simple and very easy, and I wish you good luck with the cat trauma. I'm allergic to cats, so I don't do cats, but I have a dog. It's just as bad as a cat. You should see how many times she pees in my garage. I can't figure out how to get her to stop peeing in my garage. The neighbor's dog came over and peed on my garbage cans. And he's a oh, big, no. ugly male dog. 
he came peed on my garbage can in my garage one day and ever since then she thinks that she needs to pee all over my whole garage like if i didn't love you i would kick you out of my house (laughs) mean makes me crazy um let's see have i told you about everything that you wanted to know about i think that was everything that was on my list Anything else you want me to talk about, Samantha, my friend? Um, did you talk about the conditioner for the hair? Because that stuff I is did. like a bomb. I did okay, talk I'm about the conditioner. Okay. You were letting dogs out. Oh, okay. You were letting dogs out. <laughs> I, did I, want, I wash my hair every seven days. Every seven days since I started using that conditioner. Which is awesome. Because, because and you know, and if, I mean, if I'm going somewhere during the week and I need to wash my hair, you know, I'll wash my, you know, because I want it to be done. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's fine. But normally I wash it every Saturday morning. <laughs> now, have you um, tried the dry shampoo yet? No, I no, I have not. Okay, so <laughs> the dry shampoo is super, super cool. This doesn't have any benzene in it, it doesn't have any talc. Um, so talc, if you don't know, talc is mined with it has asbestos attached to it. And they try to separate the best they can but they have found asbestos in almost every dry shampoo out there. Um, You don't want asbestos on your scalp, really not a good thing. Um, And then this doesn't have, you don't lose all the room with trying to get an aerosol in there. This is not an aerosol pump, but it is a spray pump. There is 22,222 sprays of dry shampoo in here. There is a lot, this is going to last a long time. Now, I know my hair is kind of, you know, it's light, but put this in there so when you're going to use a dry shampoo you can use it anytime right you can do it in the morning you can do it in the evening um but if you're like oh i'm not going to wash my hair but it's starting to feel oily starting to get flat you can do this at night you just spray it in there rub it in a little bit and then go to bed but you can see it's already lifts lifts your hair it's a volumizing dry shampoo um you let it work overnight and in the morning give your hair a quick blow dry and it's gonna just look like you just got out of the shower um, if you're like, I'm running out the door, I didn't have time to shower today, give it a couple spritzes, rub it in, and it's going to be great. Um, I actually have a friend, I'm going to be posting it in our VIP group next month. She didn't wash her hair for 10 days and was just using the dry shampoo um, for 10 days. And she had like tons of hair, like really thick long hair and I was going oh my gosh I would never be able to do that she did it and her hair looked great at 10 days like, do you smell? have you been showering in 10 days do you smell? <laughs> she's like I did take showers I just don't wash my hair she just yeah. pulls her hair up out of the way so she that's what I do every day after I wash it <laughs> and so I'm just like wash the hair but I usually well, take out in the morning. I'm all sweaty, so I'm like I was my hair dresser said something, something to, about my hair. So using that, at, so when I started using the conditioner, mm-hmm. yeah, and so, the conditioner is fantastic. And the yeah. we have a deep conditioning mask, and when I put the mask on, so I'll use the masks like on uh, Sunday when I'll get in the shower in the morning on Sunday morning. I'll put the mask on, and then I almost don't have to use the conditioner for the whole week because the mask just so deep hydrates my hair that I just wash it. And then I don't have to condition it. Um, so my conditioner, how many of you guys like use your conditioner and you run out of conditioner twice as fast as shampoo, right? Always. Yeah. Oh, totally. well, I used to. So <laughs> now I use that deep conditioning mask once a week. And then I only have to, I, I'll condition my hair like Wednesday and maybe Friday. So like every other day that I'll actually use conditioner in my hair because that deep mask just and you only need a little bit of it you just put it in there and then just let it sit you like stand in the shower and think you know do the thing rinse it out after like five minutes and then it you're like you don't need to to condition your hair because it's so soft and silky i think that's the the one that's the three minute one or the 10 minute one or whatever right yeah it says you can use it that's the one i use every week that's the one i use every week okay yep it does it totally works like really don't have to condition your hair yeah you don't have to do anything in it and keeps my hair light and you know yeah, it's amazing. once in a while on a Friday. Once in a while on a Friday, I can feel like, yeah, am I great right on that borderline? You know? Um, but for the most part, that's where this I don't have to. Yeah, yeah, that's where this one would come in. Do it on Friday. You're like, I'm good. Can make it the rest of the week. Yeah. All right. Make it well, lazy though. 
<laughs> I am going to, um, I'm going to post our recording. So I'm recording this. I'm going to post this for anybody who missed it. Um, I'm also going to put a shopping cart um, with some of Samantha's favorite things in it. And I'm going to put them off in there in the mystery bags. Okay. I'm just going to throw it in our chat. So you guys can click on that cart. It's going to be linked to her party. You can edit it however you want. You can take in, take in things, add it out, whatever you want to do. Um, but it's just going to be there with some of her favorite things. And if you guys like, you know, I love all the things or I want, you know, maybe the, my wish list and my budget don't really match up. Hey, remember that there is that option here that Norwex has that you can earn free spending money to get whatever you want. And you can even use it on new products. Like they're that generous. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, so if you want to like invite some friends, hang out for a little bit and do something like this over Zoom, um, I love to do them. This is my, my family's main income is our Norwex income. So I do this full time. And I enjoy every minute of it. I love to get to share and educate people that there is a much better way and a much safer way to take care of our homes and our families. Um, as a young mom, I had to call poison control twice. And both times I was made to feel like I was the worst person in the world. I don't know if you guys have ever had to call poison control. Um, but I felt so bad afterwards. And it wasn't for a lack of trying. Like I had everything was up high. I had locks on doors, but I had twins that could undo anything. <laughs> and they could get into anything because there was two of them and they would climb on each other and it was no big deal. And anything that I tried to hide, that was what they went after. And they got a hold of things and I had to call poison control. And I felt so bad and I never ever wanted to have to deal with that again. And so we like Fort Knox, our house, right? Because we were still using it. And then when my father-in-law was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's and we found out that chemicals were a catalyst to bringing it on sooner, I was like, hey, we're done. I, I'm not going to call poison control again because they're going to take me away and throw me in jail and take my kids away because they think I'm a bad mom. And I don't want to have to deal with this with my family. I don't want you guys to have chemicals. And so we got rid of the chemicals and we were just using vinegar and essential oils to clean our house. And our house smelled like salad dressing all the time. <laughs> and to this day, I hate the smell of vinegar. Like the fact that I will use it in laundry sometimes or to clean up dog pee. I'm like, you better understand that I love you, but I hate you because vinegar. I don't even like to cook with vinegar. Terrible. <laughs> but it works. Um, but that's what we were using. And literally when I got invited to a Norwex party, I didn't pay very much attention. I, I looked at the catalog ahead of time and I went, you know what, this is way too rich for my blood. I'm not even going to look at it. And my, my darling friend who had invited me, who knew my situation and really wanted me to see things, she didn't have anybody book a party. And with Norwex, you get a lot more rewards when somebody books a party. And so I was like, okay, fine. I can't afford to buy anything, but I'll book a party. So I booked a party and I learned so much being the hostess. I was really paying attention and I was like, really? I can clean my house with just water? And it's like clean. It doesn't smell like salad dressing <laughs> for sure. And so I had a party and it was awesome. And I got all this stuff and I started using it and I was totally addicted. And I'm like, okay, I have to have everything now. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm like, nice. sign me up. <laughs> Not, not only have because I wanted it, but I wanted to share it. Yeah. And I love to share it. It brings me joy. Like, I can't even tell you how fun it is to get text messages from people when they send me a picture and they're like, Jen, I've been trying to get rid of this spot on my stove or on my wall or whatever forever. And I used my Norwex cloth and it totally did it. And it just brings me so much joy. So I absolutely love it. So I love getting to share. So thank you, Samantha, for allowing me to share. And if you guys want to share with your friends too, I would love to help you do that. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. I will post in our group chat. Um, don't forget. So anything that's ordered tonight or before 10 o'clock central time, free shipping, if it's over $99, um, the mop is 30% off. Those mystery bags are available. Um, but then also the new products will release tomorrow at 10 AM central time as well. And I will put in our group. I will put in a, a graphic and show you guys all those new products. And I'll probably put in a new shopping cart link that has the new products in there. So you can check those out as well. You can check, click on any of those products and it'll take you to a screen in the catalog that will give you more information about them. We still don't have an icon, do we? 
Huh? You still don't have the icon yet, do you? Since the new site, the oh, the app. Yeah. Yeah, they you don't. So our app icon. is gone right now. So yeah, I'm still gone. That they're gonna do a new one, <laughs> but I can show you. You can take your. Um, you can go to norwex.com forward slash Jen Udink, and then you can save uh -huh. it as a bookmark and you can save it uh -huh. on your home screen. And so then oh, it looks okay. like an app. So then you okay. can still hit it. So that makes so it. So then I can hit it and get where I need to go, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can get exactly <laughs> where you need to go. <laughs> but I'm going to send you the shopping cart link for your party so everybody can get exactly where they need to go. But you All guys, right. please, if you want to message me separately, you can. My cell phone number is in there. Um, in that group chat. So shoot me a message if you've got questions. I don't think anybody's going to mind if you said, if you put a question in that group chat and I can respond to you separately if we need to have a conversation. Um, but use that. Please get in touch with me. Please message me if you have questions. I am here to help you. Um, I, that is what I love to do. So if you've got something we didn't discuss tonight that you have got a challenge and you want to know more, let me know, okay? Because I am happy to help you guys out. So, She'll okay. teach you how to clean a toilet. I did not clean a toilet. I should have cleaned no, the toilet. I, I said you, you taught me how to get mine clean. Oh, good. I'm and glad. The hard water. Remember the, the hard water. Yes. 20. Yep, the hard water. So now Samantha has got a toilet ball, a magnet ball in her toilet tank that helps to soften her water so that her toilet doesn't get so dirty. And then she's got a toilet brush that has backlock in the container, the bristles, the handle, the whole shebang that holds the bathroom cleaner. So Norwex's bathroom cleaner is super concentrated. Um, so you only need like two little squirts like this is all the bathroom cleaner you need you don't have to fill the whole bowl it doesn't all have to be blue you go squirt squirt and that's all you're going to need scrub your toilet it gets it clean um this comes off this is your lid you dump your toilet stuff in there right after. um so i know that samantha loves that and then my little trick for the toilets guys i'll tell you real quick is 220 sandpaper mm -hmm. get it wet <laughs> Scrub the inside of your toilet. Don't use it on the seat. It'll take off the paint. Don't do that. But inside your toilet, it's not going to hurt the porcelain. And it gets all the grit and gross and all the smell and all the nasty. And the hard water. And all the hard water and just takes it away. So easy. Dime. Don't be afraid to stick your hand in the toilet. It's okay. <laughs> Some people don't okay. like, my husband won't stick his hand in the toilet. So he uses this, which is fine. What I clean the toilet, gloves I for. <laughs> <laughs> yep so 220 sandpaper doesn't matter if it's the black kind like for sheetrock you can get that kind with the big holes in it or the you know the wood kind that's brown and for wood it's fine either one works great and it won't hurt the porcelain but it's got to be wet yeah just get it wet dump it in the water get it wet scrub it out <laughs> all right well you guys are awesome thanks so much for hanging out with have me this is tons of fun have a great night and I will get those um, shopping links and stuff thrown in the cart for you or the chat in just a second. Okay. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome, Thank my you friend. Know. All right. Thanks, Bye, guys. All right. We'll see you there. Bye. <laughs>